Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We continued celebrating my birthday except for Tara who wasn't feeling well. Us girls made flower crowns and enjoyed this beautiful place. Then it was time to leave. We saw that there was some swell coming and thought we'd head to a surf break in the northern part of Moritai, called Serenades. We just pulled anchor from Dodola Island. Just at the bottom of Moritai, we're heading north in the search for some waves. We were going to do some scuba diving that wasn't far from here, but it's quite deep. There's some World War II wrecks, but they're in like 40 metres of water. And we're a little bit unsure about doing that here with that, um, especially while COVID's going on. So we are heading north. Last Island was beautiful, but we left with some souvenirs. My whole body is covered in bites. I did, um, I recorded a yoga class over there a couple of mornings in a row and one morning was fine, the next morning I got eaten alive. So I have been itchy for days. Last night I've had to have three showers. Anyone has remedies of sand fly bites? It's going to be too late before you. This is posted, I should be healed but... Very annoying. I've never been bit like this my whole life. We all had a few bites, but nothing like mum. It didn't stop her from whipping up some delicious food to satisfy the captain and crew. <laughs> I, I, I cannot stop itching and I can't find anything to soothe them. And I put a post on Instagram today and I tried everything. There was vinegar, I tried that, didn't work. Tea tree oil, it kind of works a little bit, but still not soothing enough. And the other thing was an oat bath. I don't have a bath, so I thought I'd just wet some oats and rub it all over me. And it works. It is soothing. Now I have dried oats all over my body. <laughs> so I gotta go wash it off. But it works if you're itchy or you've got like lots of bites on you. Just grab some oats, some water in it, make a little mush, and just rub it all over yourself. Alright, I gotta go and hose it down before bed. Right, I just go to bed like this. I don't wanna wash it off. It's okay. Okay. If you get hungry, you can just lick it. <laughs> All your breakfast is already yeah. served. <laughs> mm. <laughs> right, we are at Moritai. We're on the northern end of Moritai, and we're just arriving at a spot called Serenades. It's one of the few surf spots up here. 
So we haven't had a surf for a while, so we're all a little bit itchy to get in the water. It's a little bit, we are facing to the north and the typhoons and whatnot do form behind us. So it does feel a little uncomfortable because it is very open here, but they don't apparently come down this far. So, and haven't recorded any, I don't think. They sort of tend to form off the Philippines, which is just above us, and then I think they run up to Japan. But anyway, we may get a few of the side effects from any that form. And I think it's pretty much cyclonic all year round in this area. So we just have to keep an eye on the weather, keep an eye on the iridium. I don't know if we've got internet up here. Uh, it is pretty remote, but we'll find out sooner than later. But um, it's coming in now, so I might let Sarah take over. There's a bit of history up here too. A few World War II planes. I think everyone's sort of been on the battlefield up here from the Portuguese to the Indonesians to the Japanese to you name it. They've all had a little dig up here and the remains are under the water and on the mountains. So there's a little bit of history here. We'll try and find a bit of that. We don't know what we're in for yet. We're sort of just getting in now. We arrived and the swell hadn't arrived yet, but there was a little wave and we were keen as mustard to get out there. Mum felt bad about leaving you guys, so she paddled back to Dory after a few waves and grabbed the camera. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. It wasn't that great, but we had heaps of fun finding our feet again. A new man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. The next day the sun was shining and the waves were, well not pumping, but it was definitely fun out there. We all were so stoked and stayed out until our arms couldn't paddle any longer.
Looks like a bit of a storm rolling in. After a few epic days of waves, the swell disappeared. No waves, so we went to check out the shore. It's always good to stretch the legs living on a boat. This beach was long and super hot. Moritai is very close to the equator and temperatures this time of year are an average of 31 degrees Celsius. Not only is the air warm, but also the water, around 30 degrees, so no getting cold, spending hours in the water, which is so nice. There's a warning, coconuts. Maple. I don't know what that is, Sunday. I thought that was safe. Is that a warning? Warning, coconut. Warning, coconut. Oh, maple. Oh, it might be, yeah. Oh, sorry. We came back to lunch, fried rice and prawn crackers. Yum! How good study. So good. It's a pretty good guy. And you know what I love about Lee? When he cooks, he cleans up after himself, which I need to learn to do better. He doesn't always.
With no waves and no swell, we headed south back down the coast of Moritai. Thanks for watching.